Okay, it's time for a look back at week 56. Um, it's been a pretty good week practice-wise. I've Again, another another week where I got my six sessions in. So a total of three hours practice, uh, which is pretty good. The, um, uh, the practice involved mainly the pieces, arabesque and Diglo's earthworms, uh, but also the scales. So um, normally I, I randomize the scales. So every practice session, um, it's a random, a random scale that I pick um, to learn. Or to, to practice, I should say. Um, but what I've been doing um, for the last week is really focusing in on the C major and the D major scale, uh, doing it uh, two hands together. So um, that's basically two octaves, two hands together, uh, and trying to get that right. And it's coming along pretty well. Um, pretty happy with how it's going, actually. Um, yeah. And it should, my, my thinking is, is that by focusing on getting the muscle memory right for those scales, then it will be um, easier to do two octaves hands together for um, I think it's all but about two of the rest of the major scales um, because they all use um I think Jane calls it a C major finger patterning or something like that um, and all of them except two use that so so that's my thinking uh, and so far um, yeah it looks like it's it's yeah, gonna work uh, which which is good in terms of the pieces. Um, Arabesque, um, it's coming along okay. Um, I'm still having some difficulty with the timing of that, um, as in um, it's got some sort of staccato notes in the left hand and you've got to try and get four notes uh, on the right hand into that same period of time. Um, and that's that's pretty bit tricky. And you're also trying to get that um, consistent because um, there's two beats in a bar and then the next staccato one comes along, you've got to do the... The, the fifth staccato one on the on the right hand and that's that's a bit tricky so that's what I mean by timing so that's a bit better to say synchronization yeah, hand synchronization is probably a better way to describe it um, so I'm still having some difficulty with that uh, but but to be fair it's only been a couple of weeks so yeah um, it, it's come along quite well for a couple of weeks I reckon dig those earthworms um, has gotten better this week I think I finally nailed the swing uh, in the um, right hand at the end in, in the final four bars which is, is good uh, and it depends on on the practice session sometimes I'm pretty good um, you know I can do a pretty good run through other times the fingers on the right hand just just don't want to move in the right spots or they're slipping off the keys or because it's quite fast at some, some points in the right hand so um, it, it's it's almost there I reckon um, Jane gave me the option to retire it this week or give it another week. Um, and I think I'll give it another week just so I can try and get a little bit more polish on it. Um, although, once I've finished this, I'm going to try and do a, a recording of it to see if I can get, get a good recording session of it. So, yeah. so that's the plan there. Um, other than that, it's, um, yeah, there's the look back. And it's um, yeah, been, been a reasonable week, I think. So good, good progress. And we're coming up for a lesson 47. Um, and uh, we'll start that in about oh, five minutes. Okay.